يا ايها الذين امنوا لا تتخذوا اليهود والنصارى اولياء بعضهم اولياء بعض ومن يتولهم منكم فانه منهم And the divine intervention which comes in Akhirul Zaman will come at the end of a repeat performance <laughs> of the encounter between truth and falsehood, between Musa alayhi salam and Pharaoh. Musa alayhi salam didn't have any nuclear weapons, he didn't have any helicopter gunships he didn't have all the arms that NATO has no Firaun was armed to the teeth and at the end of that encounter when those who have power in the world would be armed to the teeth and would be waging war on Islam as Firaun was waging war at the end of that encounter Truth will triumph. Who are those people who are to come in Akhir Zaman? Who will live the way Fir'aun lived? Powerful, arrogant, waging war on those who stand up for Islam. So if they're not waging war on us, something is wrong with our Islam. Eh? <laughs> huh? Who are those people who because they live the way Fir'aun live will die the way Fir'aun died? The answer, those who today rule the world. Who are the Zionists? They are Christian Zionists and they are Jewish Zionists. And these Christians and Jews have come together and this cement which has bonded them together is Zionism. And we have on several occasions attempted to explain this verse of the Quran. If you have heard it before and you have not gone to others to teach it to others, then do please listen to it again because this is what you're supposed to do. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, O you who have faith in Allah. La tattakhidhu al-yahuda wa nasara awliya. Do not take the Jews and do not take the Christians as your your friends and allies. We pause. Proper methodology is that you do not take any verse of the Quran in isolation to derive meaning. If this Quran is not referring to all Jews and all Christians, because when we study the rest of the Quran, there are several verses which indicate that Allah could not be referring to all Jews and all Christians. Well then, which Jews and which Christians? The answer is to be found in the words which follow. Do not take such Jews and such Christians as your friends and allies, who themselves are friends and allies of each other. The Quran is informing us that the time is going to come when there's going to be a Jewish-Christian alliance. And when the Jewish-Christian alliance comes into being, you are prohibited as Muslims from maintaining friendly ties with them and being their allies. And then the verse continues to declare, Whosoever from amongst you turn to them with friendship and alliance, now belong to them. You've lost your Islam. Mm -hmm.